Why is it so hard to make a co-op superhero game? I'm not talking about making a Ultimate Alliance or something like that. I'm talking about making a Spider-Man type game, but in multiplayer. A game that is trying to give you an accurate gameplay version of what it would be like to play Spider-Man or Batman in a co-op multiplayer format. Exactly like what the Avenger game was trying to do for its core gameplay. So why are those type of games so hard to make? While Suicide Squad Avenger and Gotham Knight were mostly hated for being life service looter shooter, them being life service looter shooter was a bad design choice unrelated to the core problem here. The biggest problem of trying to adapt those characters in a co-op multiplayer format comes from the conceptual flaw of the choice to even try to adapt something like Avenger into this type of game. How do you successfully adapt Iron Man into an action-adventure video game? He needs to fly, move super fast, have a bunch of weapons, he's also really powerful, able to destroy tanks and planes and fight really powerful superhuman beings. Okay, that's doable. Now in the same game, same level design, same enemy, let's add Thor. It's really similar, fly, fast, strong, shoot lightning, it work. Now let's be a bit crazy and add Captain America, doesn't fly. Not as fast as the other two, surely not as strong. Captain America doesn't blow tank casually. So with the addition of a simple character, you're presented with really conflicting design choice. What do you do now? Do you buff Captain America? Making him run as fast as Thor and Iron Man while they're flying? Or do you tone down Iron Man's flying speed? Is blowing up tank hard or easy? What do you do for the verticality in the level design? Cap cannot fly, so he would obviously go up much lower. So no verticality? Meaning Iron Man fly, but the level design is flat? Okay, imagine having to balance Spider-Man in those conditions. Oh, wait, yeah. And for weapon, Iron Man have a shit ton of weapon, but Thor have one hammer and Captain America have one shield. Now add Black Widow with Spide and Mimi use Stealth and Gun as her game plan. Now do you add Stealth or do you take it out? Can Thor even Stealth? Should Black Widow run as fast as Captain America and jump as high? I guess they all have projectiles, so that is one thing that works. Oh, but you add Hulk in the game and he doesn't. Hell, he doesn't even have weapon at all. You get my point. It's surely not impossible to do, but the more you want to add character into a co-op game, the more you need to balance the gameplay around all those characters. No one want to play as a human level Black Widow fighting normal goons while your friend is smashing tank in one hit as Hulk. So in that sense you need to take all the characters in your game and flatten them up. The one with the most ability that are the most powerful need to be nerfed down to the level that is closer to the weakest character in the game. And the same goes for the weakest character, they need to be buffed to work with the strongest one. Which is how we get super slow Spider-Man and Iron Man and robot smashing Black Widow. This is the compromise, and this creates a weird bootleg feeling version of those characters. Because Black Widow should be a stealth game, Iron Man should be an Anthem like shooter, and Spider Man should be fucking Spider Man. But they can't be because they all need to work at the same time against the same enemy. Which is precisely why it's so hard to make an accurate co op multiplayer superhero game. Even if the animation were better, even if the loot were taken out, Spider-Man would still have to move that slow. He can't outrun Black Widow. He would still need to fight like the other character because they all fight the same enemies. Now it's not to say that it's impossible to do those type of games. It's just that it's really hard. Suicide Squad suffered the same way. The character that they choose to put in their game all had conflicted design decisions when it comes to adapting them into video game. Which is why we end up with a weird movement shooter that ultimately didn't feel like you're playing any of those characters. It's the same for Gotham Knight. Gotham Knight had character with capes while other didn't. Red Hood fight with gun but the other three fight with melee so melee is the core of the combat. Now imagine having to balance Flash, Superman and Wonder Woman to Batman. Or something like that. It's a tough design challenge. But I'm sure a game designer will come in and find the perfect balance and the perfect cast of character to make the definitive multiplayer co-op superhero game. Until then I guess we gotta play what we got. And I know it's not the same, but Ultimate Alliance is pretty good. I would recommend that if you didn't play it for now. It's, it's pretty fun. So yeah, uh, peace out. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all from people dropping